Hi, I'm Kristen White, and I invite you to join me each week as I interview experts who talk about the things that matter to you here on The Ripple Effect. Hello, everyone. I'm Kristen White. You know, there's a world of good news out there, and let's start in Nepal. You know, the door is unlocked for children of incarcerated parents, thanks to a woman named Pushpa Basnet. Nepal is a very poor country, and when no guardian can be found for a parent serving time, the children have no choice but to live in the prison as well. I can't even imagine that. Basnet gives these children another option. She runs a home and a daycare in Kathmandu with 40 children in residence, ages six and up. And to date, she has helped more than 100 children and their families. Let's watch her story. Maybe God has sent me to do this thing. We are traveling to small jail. It's three hours drive from Kathmandu. So now the mother has just called us to come and pick up the child. And she said that I'm in a prison for trafficking. I'm scared that now I'm in prison, the circle of my friends will traffic my daughter. Freedom. I give them the freedom from the prison. That's the greatest thing I can give them. I get up around 5.30. We are a family. You're not just dealing with one child. You're dealing with 44 children with 44 various behaviors. Every child deserves a good life. We're giving them education, food, love, kids. This is the most precious time for them. And they are spending with me. Just imagine how lucky I am. The children call her Mamu. She was recently named CNN Hero of the Year. In Afghanistan, a healing wind is sweeping through the deserts, making it safe from the terror of a hidden military explosive that was left behind. It's a very common problem there. As a child, he played in the desert outside of Kabul with wind toys. Now, 20 years later, designer Masood Hassani is using his invention to detonate landmines. This man is a true innovator. My name is uh, Masood Hassani. I was born in Afghanistan. We lived on the outskirts of Kabul on the edge of a desert. Back then, there were many militaries from foreign countries who were trained there with guns and explosives. When they went home, they left lots of explosives and mines behind. My brother and I would make wind power toys and would raise them against the other children. We made many different designs using cheap materials that we found. So this very windy desert became our playground. Most people who live in Kabul will know somebody who has been hurt or killed by a landmine. After the loss of my father, my mother felt it would be too dangerous for me to stay. So she smuggled us out. After four years of traveling, I arrived in the Netherlands. I was accepted as a refugee. Now, as an adult working as a product designer, I use my background to inspire my projects. It has been calculated that it costs about $1,200 to clear a single landmine. So I designed a prototype that I hope to realize in places like Afghanistan. The total cost of its material is about 40 euros. It moves using the power of the wind. When it rolls over an antipersonal landmine, it's heavy enough to detonate the explosive. With each detonation, the Minecafon loses just one or two legs. Therefore, it could potentially destroy three to four landmines in one journey. 
my ideal scenario would be to provide it for local people as a tool to cheaply survey this danger in their own environment. The cost to create the landmine detonator device is 40 euros. There's a world of good news out there. I'm Kristen White. Let's start a ripple. Did you realize there is an energy to your money? Well, my next expert guest is Carolyn Ellis. She's a business coach, and she's going to take you on a 60-day journey to your brilliant money breakthrough. Money flow or does your money go? Yes, all of us want to make more money in our lives, but we also want to hold on to our money. Well, my guest today, Carolyn Ellis, is here to teach us how to use our energy to manifest more money in our lives and actually to maintain it and keep it growing. <laughs> Carolyn, welcome. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I noticed when you were walking on that you had your purse with you. Yes, I do have my purse with me. <laughs> and uh, I, I brought it because I wanted to help people really get a visual about the relationship that we have with money. Because I think a lot of people think that money is about budgeting and taxes and paying your bills and about things that you do. It's a tool. But really, money is an energy. So when people have a financial issue, I really actually think underneath it is an energetic issue that we can address. So let's have a little bit of fun here. If your purse is handy and you're watching the show this morning, go ahead and grab it. And and even if you're a man, this can apply to you absolutely, as well. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, well, here's, I just brought a few little examples here. Some people, I mean, this is a very practical, utilitarian looking kind of wallet. And, you know. Pretty basic. It's pretty basic. But when, you, you know, when I picked this up, when I picked this up in the store, my, my energy went blah. It right. was a little drab. And it's just not very, um, it doesn't have a lot of personality in it. So that's not so much fun. Um, so that's one example. Now, sometimes people, a little bit more stylish, but it's small. It's hard to fit what you need in it. And so are you trying to cram things into a small space just because it, you know, it's going to fit better in your purse? I know a lot of the gentlemen, they just... It feels like me, a place where you just keep your change, you know, where yeah. your, your pennies go so they're yeah. not loose in the bottom of your yeah. purse. Yeah, and so is that where you're setting your bar? I, was, I just want to have a place for my pennies, but what about the big bucks, right? Right. So not so good. And then, and then it goes all the way to something, which is, this is my own wallet. And I, I love this because every time I open it up, I get excited because I see the polka dots in it. It has receptacles for Canadian dollars, US dollars. Uh, it really is just something that brings me joy. And so when I hold on to this and I receive money or I give other people money, I feel a sense of my energy lifting. And I think that's a really important thing for people to appreciate. Right, exactly. And I love this exercise that you did, you know, showing the different wallets and the purse, because I do believe that oftentimes things that we carry mm -hmm. do send an impression about what our viewpoints are. You know, in this day and age, people are really starting to understand that it's not all about, you know, if I get more than somebody else is going to have less. It's like, what if we could all have more? And not necessarily you know, dollars and cents all the time, but, you know, if we could give more of ourselves, if we could create more wealth, it doesn't mean that, you know, somebody having wealth means that somebody gets less. It's, it's really a leveraged tool that we mm -hmm. can offer to the world to get our gifts out and to help more people. So... When I think it's about important. prosperity, Carolyn, I think it's not just about the money. It's mm -hmm. about, you know, do you also have an abundance of joy in your life? Do you yes. have an abundance of love? Do you yeah. have um, a, an abundance of friends? Mm -hmm. Do you have, you know, just... A full cup in yes. a lot of different areas and I know that we have a great demonstration plan so yep. let's take a look at that right now. I'd love to. Well we've been talking about does your money flow or does your money go and so this demonstration is really here's here's our money we've been talking about money as being an energy and when we're really um, solid within ourselves when we find that internal resourcefulness and we shift out of some of these old patterns and behaviors and ways of sabotaging here's how money can flow into you. So it's flowing in, and you can actually hold it, and you can do something with it. So you can circulate it around, and it's really a full cup. Yeah, a full cup. It's of... a full cup. That's right. 
So, but what we were talking about, we had those six money currents that impact people that can knock you off that surfboard. And so that's just represented here by these different holes in the cup. So your, what you learn from your parents, you know, how you value yourself, do you have a vision for money, what are your habits for money, uh, how do you align your energy with money, things like that. And so look what happens. Stand back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can just see it's just going all over the place. Yeah. And so no matter how much you run around and try to get more money, try to attract more prosperity, until you really address some of these money leaks that you have in your own energy field, this is what's going to happen. So I'm just going to put that in there because that's a mess. Wow, Carolyn, that, mm -hmm. that's powerful for mm -hmm. me just to see what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that we realize how many uh, ways that we have like little holes, leaks, <laughs> leaks, you yes. know, it's like it, c it yeah. comes in that's right. and then it, it can't stay. And you know, that's what we were talking about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, earlier on, does your money flow or does your money you go? go. <laughs> Carolyn, yeah. thank you so much for being here and sharing with us your expertise on money. I know that this is incredibly valuable, not just to myself, but to mm. all of our viewers. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to be here with you. Thank, thank you. you. Are you finding it difficult to lose extra weight that's settled in to stay? Well, my next expert guest is a wellness coach named Nicole Ross. She's the creator of the Shed Weight Loss Program. She's going to teach you how to lose weight and the emotional patterns so it stays off permanently. Hi, I'm Kristen White, host of The Ripple Effect. If you enjoy the interviews on the show, well, I have good news for you. You can learn more from these amazing experts who appeared on the show. All you need to do is go to the website, kristenwhitetv.com, and guess what you'll find there? An extended interview, more than 15 minutes long, about all of the extra wisdom that we just couldn't even fit into the show. So go to Kristen White TV online, look up your expert's name, and learn everything else that they had to contribute that we simply couldn't fit into the show. See you on the website. For many of us, it seems like we're always having a battle with our weight. You know, we lose the pounds, they come back on. How do we find that space of balance where we're feeling great, looking good, and at that ideal weight that makes us feel fantastic and alive? And I know this is true whether you're a man or a woman. This battle with the bulge can seem like it goes on and on and on. Well, my guest today is an expert in exactly this area and so much more. Her name is Nicole Ross, and she's joining us to talk about how we can finally make peace with this whole challenge that seems to just keep going in our lives. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you. It's great to be here. So what... What is going on? I mean, I know that weight loss, it just seems like, you know, New Year's is right around the corner and we have that resolution. And most people around the globe, one of those top resolutions is I'm going to lose weight this year. Right. So, so many people, I mean, struggle and try so many different diets over and over again. And they lose 10 pounds and then they gain 15 pounds back. And it's just this cycle that we're all going through or people that have struggled for a while. And really, they're not addressing the deeper issues of why is it that they're really eating that food? What are they going for? What are they looking for? How are they nourishing themselves? You know, there's this whole emotional metabolism that we're trying to address, and that is a route to the long-term weight loss. I love that word, emotional metabolism. I, I think that when it comes to weight loss for many people, it's like, well, should I put this in my mouth? Should I eat this today? We're looking at labels, we're counting calories. And what I hear you saying is that it may be more than that. Oh yeah, we're raising that consciousness. I mean, what I'm trying to get my clients to do is to look at what it is that they're really hungry for. Are they hungry for that piece of chocolate? Why do they want that? If they are, then have it, eat that piece of chocolate, but at least they're taking that 10 seconds and checking it in, checking in with themselves and saying, is that what I want or is it something else? Do I want to take a hot bath? Do I want to listen to some music? Do I want to actually feed my soul in a different way? And that's where you make the big shift. Tell me a little bit about your personal story. 
So I grew up in a very culturally Italian family <laughs> where food equaled love. So I'm one of four girls and we all struggled, struggled forever with our weight. So at one point I was, you know, pushing past 200 pounds and really it was at the time when I was probably around 21 years old and checked in and I thought, what is it that I'm lacking? What, what is it that I really want? and just started going on that journey of how to feed myself in a completely different way. Um, and I dropped about 100 pounds and have been able to keep, keep it off. Wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's interesting because I have heard this story before, you know, people who eat because they're going through stress in their lives or they have a lot of challenges with, you know, an emotional transition. How big of a role do you believe that is in being able to make that shift with your weight once and for all? I think that's the key. That's mm -hmm. the crux. So I know that you have a program that um, helps people lose weight and, and you know really shed the pounds, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. So what is that first step? So the first step is to stop to stop and really look at what you're doing, st stop filling that gap with the food and the um, choices that you're making right now. And I give them a, a diet plan to go on so that they see the immediate results and they step into the discomfort very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I think it's hard because when you have stress in your life, you know, it's like, oh, I'm just going to grab that chocolate bar. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to order a pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting takeout Chinese because I'm, I'm taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. You know, we have That's that mindset. Um, but in, in, in truth, it, it's not. It's not as supportive um, to live your life from that, that impulse reaction. Right, because after you do that, you tend to beat yourself up of, why did I do that, why did I do that? <laughs> do you ever beat yourself up when you take a hot bath? No. 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 You don't do that. I work with people for nine weeks, and they see rapid results with the program that I give them, and in the meanwhile, they also talk to me mm -hmm. weekly, on a weekly basis, and we talk about what's coming up for them. And I give them tools to use to actually nourish themselves, nourish their souls where they really need to be nourished. So Nicole, where can uh, our viewers find you and work with you? So you can find me at NicoleRoss.net and I'd be happy to work with all of you. Nicole Ross, thank you so much for being here thank on you. The Ripple Effect. Thank you. And uh, great points and a lot of wisdom. So thank you. Thank you. Coming up next, get naturally fit with holistic fitness expert, Kimberly Johnson. to a minute to fitness. Guys, I'm so excited. We're gonna do an around the world plank today. I bet you've never done that before. That'll tighten our core, it'll work our arms, and we'll have a lot of fun doing it. So it'll never be a boring plank for you guys. Let's get started. So in the plank position, we're gonna start out with Superwoman or Superman. And we wanna bring our hands back to our shoulders, fingers face forward. We're gonna go into a push-up. keep the elbows tight. Come back up on your feet. And we're working the transverse abdominus here, which is the core. We're holding, we're also working our arms, obviously, by holding this position. We're gonna go into an around the world plank. So it's just a little bit of something different. We're holding the front plank, and then we're gonna go to the side and reach up and look up to the ceiling. Beautiful, we're holding this for 20 seconds. Just hold, you want to make sure you have alignment here with your body. You can stack your feet or put one in front of the other like I have. Either way is fine. Now we're going to go to the back. So a reverse plank is what this called. The most important thing here is make sure that those fingertips are facing your body and not to the side or the back. Keep the butt up. Keep that line going from your shoulder to your hips. And just hold this for 20 seconds. 
And you guys can work up to this. Sometimes 20 seconds feels like a long time in a plank. All right, now we're gonna bring it down and hit the other side. And you're looking up at the ceiling in your side plank. Sorry, cross over. Good guys, planks are hard for everybody no matter how many you've done. So your body's shaking a little bit and that's okay. So we're burning fat when we're shaking. All right, let's just hold it. Good, belly button in tight. Everything is aligned, beautiful. Bring it down, back to center at the front. Thanks for planking with me, guys. Once you kind of get into the minutes, it's gonna create a ripple effect for you and you're gonna love your body even more. Thanks for joining me, email me with your situation. Wouldn't you just love to have a business you could operate from anywhere? Well, my next guest, Lena Bajorna, is an expert in connecting the dots to online business success. Hi, I'm Kristen White, host of The Ripple Effect. If you enjoyed the interviews on the show, well, I have good news for you. You can learn more from these amazing experts who appeared on the show. All you need to do is go to the website, kristenwhitetv.com. And guess what you'll find there? An extended interview, more than 15 minutes long, about all of the extra wisdom that we just couldn't even fit into the show. So go to Kristen White TV online, look up your expert's name, and learn everything else that they had to contribute that we simply couldn't fit into the show. See you on the website. Do you dream of owning your own home-based business? Perhaps you would like to own a global business, but you just want to start it from your kitchen table. Well, my guest today is an award-winning entrepreneur, Lena Bjorna, and she's here to share with us some amazing strategies to get that home-based business off the ground and around the globe. Lena, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us a little bit about you and your background. Uh, well, I'm originally from the country of Norway, and uh, I came to the U.S. back in 1995, and I've always been an entrepreneur at heart, and I really came to the U.S. to, to, um, to pursue my entrepreneurial dreams, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I started looking into ways to make money from home, and uh, started uh, studying professional marketing and really what it takes to build a successful business on the internet. Now, I did not have success right away, okay? I didn't yeah. go through some, <laughs> some uh, ex costly lessons, you could say, mm -hmm. on my own. I'm curious, how important is the role of passion and what you do inside oh, your work. It's huge. Uh, I mean, you got to do what you're passionate about. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, this is how you, you choose exactly what you, what you want to market online as far as you know, products go, uh, how you go about marketing your business, the marketing strategies that you choose, whether it's you know, video marketing or article marketing or blogging or maybe uh, other strategies. It's got to be something that you are passionate about because this is something that you are going to be, be focusing on every single day, right? You're going to be putting a lot of time into it and uh, it's very, very important to follow your passion, I believe. And I think that passion is such a great point, that passion is contagious. You oh, know, when yeah. you see someone who's passionate about their business, they, they love what they're doing, mm -hmm. they, they're inspired by these conversations, you know, you can sense that they would do it even if they weren't making any mm -hmm. money at it. Those are the people yeah. who are most successful. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, that, that's, that's how you got to feel about what you do. And sometimes, you know, as you're going through challenges in your business, which of course we all do, <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes all you have is passion, mm -hmm. but your passion keeps you moving forward. And like you also said, yeah, it does attract other people uh, into your life to just by the mere fact that you are passion, passionate. Right. Explain a little bit about how do you decide what kind of clients you want to work with inside your business and why is that important? Well, you know, what is the best target market, Kristen? <laughs> the very best target market is the people that are like you, mm -hmm. that are just like you. And right. why? Well, because you know how they feel about things. Mm -hmm. You know what they want. You know what their, their problems are. And marketing is about problem solving. Right. Professional marketing is about just giving people exactly what they want. Nothing more, okay? It's not pitching them with stuff that they don't right. need, but it's about just giving them value and providing solutions that will help them solve their problems. And when you are marketing to people who are just like you, 
you just you know that market intimately and you know exactly what to give them. I was thinking about what's going on in the world today. You know, a lot of people are losing their jobs. Um, you know, there's a crisis with housing. People are, are searching for ways to support their families, to embrace their passions and create a business that's sustainable. And what you're offering is a way to just get started, not only, but to make it successful in an ongoing way. So what would you say to someone who is watching our show right now, who wants to get started in this business? Where would you tell them to take that first step? Sit down and think about really what you are passionate about. I think that is really where it starts. Um, what can you see yourself, what do you see yourself uh, doing? And then I think you have to really think about, you know, who is your target market? Who, because not everybody is going to be your target market. Okay, your message, uh, the solution that you have to offer, okay, your product, it's not going to be the solution for everyone. Mm -hmm. It is going to appeal to uh, a relatively small group of people when you think of, you know, all the people in the world. So, right. uh, so that's something that you also have to determine. And uh, once you've done that, I mean, you find a, find a direct sales company to get started with and uh, start adding value to yourself by learning the marketing skills mm -hmm. uh, because you got to learn the skills. And you know what? Society only pays you what you are worth, okay? So society <laughs> will always pay you what you're worth. So if you want to get paid more, you've got to add value to yourself. When you increase your value, when you become more sought after in the marketplace, then people will seek you out and you will be able to charge more. Um, and especially as you go on to you know, more, more personal branding and, 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 and doing your own products, own coaching services. So if you're yeah. an entrepreneur, don't be afraid to go back to school, to learn a new right. school set, yeah. to always be improving yourself because that will be directly reflected in what you're able to charge. Absolutely. And then Absolutely. receive from your customers. Yeah, because you have to think long term as well. Right. One thing is to get started, but you always got to keep that, keep that big picture, long term perspective, keep that in mind as well. Lena Bjorna, marketing expert and award-winning entrepreneur. Thank you so much for being here with us on The Ripple Effect and very, very valuable points today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Here I am at beautiful Sedona, Arizona, and look at these gorgeous wide open spaces. You know, it leads me to what I want to talk about first inside my seven principles of spiritual practice in the series Spirituality Boot Camp. And that principle is sacred space. So, what do I mean by sacred space? You know, sacred space to a lot of us, we think of a church, a mosque, or even a synagogue. But what I'm talking about here is the sacred space that lies within your heart. This is the space where we can connect and get guidance and messages about what we are supposed to do as we move forward in our own personal journeys. So to start this practice of spirituality boot camp, I invite you to cultivate a sacred space. And how you do this is pretty simple. You can start out somewhere in nature, a beautiful place like here in Sedona, or if you have a space even within your house, that's how I created my sacred space. It can be a place in a room, a quiet chair tucked away. It can be a spot inside a whole room in your house, or you can even take a small, what I call traveling sacred space, have a cloth or a small bag with some items that are important to you and lay them out so that when it's time to do your spiritual practice, that space is already created. So why is this important? Well, it's interesting. It sends a message to you that it's time to get quiet. It's time to go within. It's time to connect. And each time you get into the sacred space, you get there a little bit faster. You know, your heart is the most powerful muscle within you. You'll get results with Spirituality Boot Camp.